பழனத்து உழும் உழவர் பலவின் கனியை பறித்ததென்று சங்கால் எரிய குரங்கு இளநீர் தனை கொண்டெவியும் தமிழ்நாட Kiradi has been in news for a while. The recent days are abuzz with a lot of information on the report of the findings of archaeological excavations at Kiradi as it is called in Tamil language. In fact, many of you must have known about this. This place is about 12 kilometers from the city of Madurai in Tamil Nadu state of South India, which was the seat of advanced literature of Tamil called Sangam era what assumes significance here is that this is the first ever archaeological find in south india the earlier ones are the harappan sites what is more important is similarities in the artifacts of kiradi with harappan sites all scientific analysis have proved in this urban civilization that has been found beneath the surface of the long line of coconut groves in the banks of river vaigai in fact which is not a perennial river that is another startling point here this uh, the this urban civilized society was egalitarian in all respects kd is situated in the southernmost part of india around 450 odd kilometers from chennai the capital city of tamil nadu state In this video I would like to share a bit about the significance of the findings of the fourth phase of the digging in this now tiny will village along the banks of the river Vaigai. The famous Sangam age is the golden period in the Tamil literature which is one of the few living classical languages of the world on par with languages like Chinese, Arabic, etc. even Greek for that matter. This place was a vibrant city in the ancient times about 2600 years ago. The samples sent to the renowned lab at Florida for AMS called accelerated mass spectrometric analysis or carbon dating as it is called have given amazing results. The findings are groundbreaking as this stand as the physical proof for the facts that are the that are so brilliantly narrated in the awesomely beautiful poetries and dramas written on a wide range of topics that were authored by great philosophers and writers of ancient Tamil land. Many thousands of artifacts have been unearthed since the formal excavation that began beneath the long line of coconut roofs in 2015. The list of artifacts includes parts, semi-precious, beads spindle holes needles walls one of the mass longest 18 meters ring wells and many more one of the amazing discoveries according to the reports submitted by the state archaeological department was that the literacy was widespread and it appears that all the commoners were illiterate what they what evidence they produce on this was the pot shirts contain a lot of graffiti and tamari writings on them uh, most of them are uh, post firing i mean when the, when the pot is uh, when the clay the clay is molded and fired at that time one can write on that and after firing it could appear in this case most of the all almost all the parts contain letters uh, or graffiti that were done post firing and that is a clear um, according to the archaeologists that is a clear proof of literacy the high level of literacy prevailing in that period pot sheds found in thousands in the excavation site throw light on the same both tamil tamari or proto tamil as it is called and graffiti are found in the parts the names ardan buiran that appear on in many parts incidentally the graffiti marks resemble that of the graffiti found in harappan sites the samples collected from kiradi 
were sent to Florida Analytical Lab and for carbon dating analysis to determine the age of collected samples. The results have been sensational indeed. These materials belong, belong to the period of some 2600 BC, to be precise, 2580 years BC. Similarly, the results of the samples sent to the Institute of Earthen Sciences of the University of Pisa, Italy, state that locally available materials consisting of lime, clay, were used as mortar in the brick constructions. Silica and magnesium were used as fine binding materials in the ring walls, in the ring wells, sorry, the ring wells that are found in the site. The floors were tile and the bricks are in, varied in size from large to small in various measurements. According to the direct, director of the state archaeology department, that the findings of faunal skeletal remains have been tested at the Deccan Analytical Lab in Pune, India. Also reveal a lot of information of the people of this Waigi River of civilization. The faunal skeletons are found to be that of cow, ox, ox, goat, wild bow, and peacock. While ox appear to have been used for agriculture, a goat and peacock must have been consumed by the people as food for food, apart from wild boar. Though the volumes of ancient Tamil literary works on various themes were suggesting the advanced state of life that ancient community was leading for, for years, physical and scientific evidences proved to be elusive. Its age had been uh, was difficult to be decipher, found or uh, to be measured. I'm sure that curiosity excavations will lead to the rewriting of the history of India as a whole. As until now, the Indian history had to be seen from the north, while according to historical evidences, period of Buddha's 2000 200 BC as it is written in our history books. But Kiridi precedes this by at least 400 years. According to the archaeologists who have carried out the operations here, if the depth of the digging is increased further, there is every possibility for pushing back the age further. One of the, mo one of the more startling findings at Kiridi is that there is no trace of any idol, any place of religious worship have been found. Another important finding is many hundreds of playthings such as the dices have been found. More importantly, it was a egalitarian society because there is no uh, 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 kind of a classic uh, class differences are found like big forts and small huts and all. Almost all uh, construction look on par with each other. That shows that goes to shows the egalitarian kind of life the people were leading in this part of the country. According to historians, only in advanced and prosperous societies, recreation could be, could have been part of human life. As many historians request this, this part of country report, the reports of earlier archaeology sites as Pumbuhar, Arikamedu, Adichunur, Kodumanal of Tamil Nadu have to be immediately released and many places around the present Madhuri have to be brought into research as well. Thank you.